Hello students, we will start discussing trees today. Before looking at trees, let us try to recollect the classification of data structures which we had done. Like data structure, we had classified into two categories which was primitive data structures and non-primitive data structures. So under primitive data structures, uh, we have basic data types such as integer, character, float, double, etc. And under non-primitive data uh, structures, we had two more classifications that is linear data structures and non-linear data structures. Under linear data structures, we have arrays, linked list, stack, queue. So this linear data structures we have uh, almost covered. Now it is time for non-linear data structures. So this tree comes under non-linear data structures. Okay. So let us define tree now. So tree is nothing but it is finite set of one or more nodes such that. So this is the recursive definition. So tree is a finite set of one or more nodes such that there is a special designated node called as root node. Okay, so in tree, there is a special designated node called as root node. Then the remaining nodes are partitioned into disjoint sets that is T1, T2, till Tn, where each of these sets is a tree. Meaning the remaining nodes. So you have few more say nodes here. So these nodes also can be trees. Okay, they are connected something like this or a better diagram is on the next slide so each of these each of these nodes is a subtree okay so this is a tree this entire thing is a, is a tree this t naught is a root node t1 is subtree t3 t2 so all these nodes are subtrees okay so th these are called as nodes. Okay? These are your nodes. And these are called as edges. Okay. So this is the tree. Okay. Next we will see some terminologies. Okay. Tree meaning uh, say we have uh, uh, say we can uh, tree is used for representing some hierarchies. Like we have uh, say principal over here as the root node then under principle we have uh, various HODs under HOD we have uh, say staff members so first staff second staff and so on then uh, so th this is some hierarchy okay this is some hierarchy so tree is used to represent such hierarchies there are many other applications. Uh, this is not the application actually, but this is just to understand uh, what is tree. So uh, there are terminologies uh, with respect to tree. So let us look at those terminologies. So the first thing here is root. So what is root? Root is a unique node in the tree to which further subtrees are attached. Okay. So root is a made node for which the Subtrees are attached. So in the uh, figure which we are seeing here, in this A is a root node. Okay, so A is root node. Then we have the second thing here as degree of a node. So what do you mean by degree of a node? The total number of subtrees attached to that node is called the degree of the node getting it the total number of subtrees connected to a node so subtrees connected to a are how many one two and three so a has three subtrees that means the degree of a is three getting it degree is nothing but number of subtrees attached to a node now let us see how many subtrees are there for e so subtrees for E, under E we don't have any further subtrees, right? So degree of E is 0, getting it? Next is leaves. 
so these are terminal nodes leaves leaves are also called as terminal terminal nodes how do you identify leaf nodes or leaves the node with degree 0 what is degree we have just now seen subtrees how many subtrees okay so if a particular node has no subtrees or in other words a node has degree 0 they are considered as leaf nodes in the above example we have e f g c and h as leaf nodes okay so these are leaf nodes e f g h and c so these are leaf nodes next terminology is internal nodes what are internal nodes nodes which are neither root node nor leaf node are called as internal nodes so here internal nodes are b and d okay so b is a internal node and d is a internal node so this these are just terminologies so what are internal nodes nodes which are neither root nor leaves okay so we have these two so this is internal node and this is a internal node there are few more terminologies let us parent node so i can call b as a parent of e and uh, e f g i can call d as a parent of h so parent node is a node which has further subtree so b has further subtree d has further subtree or a has subtree so these are called as parent nodes okay as i said b is a parent node for e f and g then there is something called as levels of a tree so levels meaning root is considered as at level 1 so this is your level number 1 then the subsequent or adjacent children are at level number 2 and so on so these nodes are at level number 3 and so on so these are levels okay then next there is uh, there are few more terminologies height so height of the tree what is height of the tree or, or what do you mean by height of the tree let us see the maximum level is the height of the tree so we have just now seen levels so the maximum level here so 3 is the maximum level right so 3 is the height of the tree so height of the tree is 3 the height of the tree is also called as depth of the tree height and depth both are same okay now to understand all these let us better yeah there are some more uh, terminologies like parent node child node or siblings they are very simple to understand it is like our real life only the uh, children of the same parent are called as siblings so try to look at this tree and identify the terminologies which we have just now studied okay so what is a a is a root node correct okay a is a root node now next sentence here b is parent of d and e so b i can call b as parent of d and e or i can call c as parent of f g and h i can call h as the parent of i and so on next c is the sibling of b c the c is a sibling of b okay sibling meaning children of the same parent f g are siblings or f g and h are siblings there is a some more uh, terminology or one more terminology here external nodes or leaves so leaf we know d the nodes with zero as the degree or zero subtrees a node which has zero subtrees are called as leaf nodes so leaves are what d e f g so whatever in green color here are all external nodes or leaves then internal nodes internal nodes are those nodes which are 
neither root node nor leaf node they are internal nodes level we know uh, if we have to consider level of say e level is just the number which we write here where root is at level number 1 next subsequent or adjacent children are at level number 2 next at 3 next at 4 and so on so level of nodes uh, say level of node e is 3 meaning e is at level 3 f is at level 3 c is at level 2 okay now height uh, or depth of the tree is 4 okay the maximum level is nothing but height or depth so height of this tree is nothing but it is 4 degree of node b is 2 that means what the number of uh, sub sub trees of b is nothing but degree okay so degree of b is how many b has how many sub trees 2 so degree of b is 2 degree of the tree this was degree of the node okay degree of the node b is 2 because b has two sub children now there is new terminology here degree of the tree degree of the tree meaning maximum degree of any node in the tree is called as degree of the tree so degree of a is how much it is 2 okay meaning 2 has a has two sub trees degree of b is what 2 b has two sub trees degree of c is what 3 Why three? Because C has three sub trees. Degree of H is how much? One. Now, the terminology which we are discussing now is what? Degree of the tree. So, degree of the tree is what? Maximum degree of any node. So, maximum among among these numbers two, two, three, one. So, what is maximum? Three. So, this is nothing but degree of the tree. next some more terminologies that is uh, ancestor of node i r a c and h so for i the ancestors are this particular hierarchy a c h the descendants of c r f g h so this is descendants of c r all these nodes so uh, these are some terminologies which you should know to understand trees so we'll i'll just stop this video over here and then in the next video we will try to discuss about representation of trees thank you